Hey everyone, Andrew back again and welcome to another collection overview and this time around we're going to be doing part two of my slashes which are the Blu-rays. So I don't own quite as many as I do the DVDs um, but yeah one thing I quickly wanted to show you because I didn't show it when I was showcasing the DVDs is I also own the three Child's Play movies on DVD. I've just got them displayed up here on the shelf with my little Chucky area and of course I also own the three VHS's as well. But anyway uh, we're not here for that we're here for the Blu-rays so let's get started. So I've kind of got these in two different sections I've got like the retro slashes and then the modern slashes below so we're going to start with the retro stuff first um, which in my opinion is the better time for slashes anyway. Um, so we have the classic Black Christmas Bloody Birthday, which is really, really good. A killer kid slasher flick with awesome cover art. Uh, the Burning, which of course is a classic. Blood Rage. Um, this movie's okay. This is definitely a release that I think they went above and beyond for the kind of movie that it is. But um, still a really, really nice release. And as I said, the movie's okay. Child's Play, which is a classic and also the very first horror movie I ever saw. Child's Play 2, which is my favourite in the series. And Child's Play 3. Uh, then we have the new Vestron video Blu-ray of Chopping Mall. Fantastic release. Glass Dolls Films release of Christmas Evil. Curtains, not a massive fan of this. I kind of find it a little bit boring to be honest, but I think the scene on the frozen lake definitely is the standout on in this movie, so that's curtains. Um, by the way, this release is really good though. Uh, we have Dead Kids. Deadly Blessing, and some of you you've probably seen in other collection overviews, but I just have all my slashes together, so apologies for that. Uh, we have Death Valley, Don't Answer the Phone, really nice release from Vinegar Syndrome, Don't Go in the Woods Alone, another release from Glass Doll Films, Eaten Alive, the Final Terror, Final Exam, which gets a lot of hate, but I really, really like it. Um, the characters and setting are really, really good in this one. The Killer is nothing special, but still, I think it's really good. The Fun House, which has a fantastic first half, and the second half definitely lets the movie down, in my opinion. Frightmare, which I guess you could consider a proto slasher, and it's very, very good. Vinegar Syndrome release of Graduation Day. Happy Birthday to Me, this is a pretty cool release actually from Cinema Cult. The House on Sorority Row, the now long out of print Scorpion Blu ray. Classic movie. The Initiation, Synapse release of Intruder with absolutely amazing artwork. This is a great release for a really, really awesome slasher film. And Killer Workout. Okay, and the last shelf for my retro slashes, we have Lady Stay Dead. Madman, which is really good. Maniac, which is amazing. Very, very grimy movie, but it's great. Maniac Cop, which I really like. Not a fan of the sequels, though. Uh, Moonstalker. Mountaintop Motel Massacre. Pretty cool slipcover there. 
as I said in my DVD slasher overview, this is my favourite 80s standalone slasher, My Bloody Valentine. Really happy to have this Blu-ray. It was, fun fact, it was actually one of the very f earlier uh, slasher Blu-rays that I ever picked up. And this release is pretty much the definitive release for this movie at the moment. Um, it's got all the cut footage inserted back into the movie. And yeah, this movie is long out of print, or this particular Blu-ray is long out of print. But yeah, absolutely love this movie. The Mutilator. Um, the movie itself's not great, but the kills are absolutely awesome, so I'd recommend it for that. And let's face it, when it comes to this genre, it's all about the kills anyway. Um, this is an amazing release from Arrow. Prom Night, which I'm not a massive fan of. Um, I actually forgot to show this in my umbrella overview, and that's the Prowler, which I just think's okay. Um, I'm not a big fan of it. Nailgun Massacre, the New York Ripper, which is fantastic. Nightmares in a Damaged Brain, which is another one that's really good. Satan's Blade. Silent Night, Deadly Night, um, amazing film as I mentioned when I showcased my Arrow DVD. Um, unfortunately the Blu-ray is not that great. Slaughterhouse, which is really good. Sleepaway Camp, which is one of my all-time favourites, love it. And was really happy when Scream released Part 2 and Part 3. Part two is really good, part three is the worst, but I definitely highly recommend all three of them. Um, this is a really nice release and set from Screen Factory. Uh, the Slumber Party Massacre. Splatter University. Stage Fright, which is fantastic, and this is a really, really nice release from the UK. Of the Stepfather, which is really good. Student Bodies, um, which is kind of like a um, piss take on the slasher genre, and I'm not really a big fan of it. Terror Train, which is another classic, and great artwork from Screen Factory there. The Texas Chainsaw Massacre, amazing. Shame about the rest of the sequels, really, compared to that one anyway. Uh, Torso. And last for the retro stuff, we have X-Ray and Schizoid. Okay, so down here we have all my modern slashes. So first up we have All Through the House, which is really, really good. American Psycho. Behind the Mask. Blood Knight, The Legend of Mary Hatchet. This one has Bill Moseley and Danielle Harris in it. This one's pretty underrated. It's really good and it's got a really, really high body count. Candyman. Charlie's Farm, which is a modern Aussie slasher film. Very, very similar to Hatchet. So if you're a Hatchet fan and you've never seen this, I highly recommend it. It was really, really good. Cherry Falls, Cry Wolf, Curse of Chucky, which was an absolutely fantastic um, return to the series, and I cannot wait for Cold of Chucky. Dream Home, which is an Asian slasher movie, very, very brutal, absolutely fantastic, definitely highly recommend this one. The Final Girls, which I really, really enjoyed. Um, pretty interesting take on the genre, but it worked really well. Funhouse Massacre. Um, this is pretty much everything that Rob Zombie's 31 should have been. This movie was awesome. Hatchet, which is awesome. Hatchet 2, which is even better, my favourite in the series. And Hatchet 3, which was a massive disappointment. 
House of Wax, Lake Nowhere, which is really good, Lost After Dark, which is an absolutely fantastic throwback slasher, highly recommend it, very very good. Maniac, which is what I consider to be the greatest remake ever made, absolutely amazing. And I think I like this one slightly more than the original, actually. And I like it so much that I own a few different editions of it up there. Okay, uh, moving on. Next up we have Mask Maker, which is pretty solid. Uh, the remake to My Bloody Valentine, My Bloody Valentine 3D. Um, for a remake, this is pretty solid, but it's nowhere near as good as the original. And it was never going to be, but yeah, as I said, for a remake, it's really good. My Soul to Take, which is pretty underrated. I never really hear anyone talk about this movie, No One Lives, um, but yeah, this one comes highly recommended. And the Steel Book for the Orphan Killer, which is really, really good. Alright, um, last shelf. We have See No Evil, Sorority Row Remake, Stitches, which is absolutely fantastic. Um, the kills in this are some of the most over-the-top kills I've seen in any slasher film, but I absolutely love it. Really, really good. If you're a fan of Killer Clowns, you need to check this out. And the movies are all falling down. Uh, we have Switchblade Romance, also known as High Tension. The Texas Chainsaw Massacre, The Beginning. Uh, this one's really good. The Remake, which I'm not a fan of. Texas Chainsaw 3D. I know this gets a lot of hate, but I actually really enjoyed this one. Next up we have Tormented, which is really, really good. And if you're a fan of Revenge Slashes, definitely check it out. Uh, Tucker and Dale vs. Evil. This is a kind of a different styled slasher film, but it's great. Uncle Sam. I uh, really like the 4th of July setting for this movie, and this movie is pretty awesome. Pretty underrated, too. Your Next, which I did not like. And Venom, which is um, another pretty underrated one. I've always been a fan of it. It's really good. Um, the setting and atmosphere in this movie especially are really good. Okay, and I own a few box sets. So here are my box sets. So we have the Chucky Complete Collection. Um, this is a pretty rare set now, the Friday the 13th tin set. Then I own Friday the 13th collection on DVD, a couple of releases of that. The Crystal Lake Memories, Nightmare on Elm Street collection, and the remake, which was terrible. I also own the Nightmare on Elm Street series on DVD, um, the Psycho complete collection, and the Scream uh, collection. And then down here, last but certainly not least, we have the very, very rare Sleepaway Camp Survival Kit box set. Okay, so there you go, guys. That is the last of my Slasher Collection overview, the Blu-rays. So let me know what you think of my collection in the comments section below. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this video, and thank you for watching.